So with my dad being a pediatric anesthesiologist and with my mom being a nurse, my experiences before Point Loma were really well shaped by my parents' influence. The thing that I probably admired most about my parents and, and continue to see so evidently through my dad's legacy and through my mom's life is the love that they shared for each other and the love that they shared for people. In middle school, my dad actually was diagnosed with leukemia in 2007. My dad was in the midst of his treatment process around Christmas time. My expectation and my sister's expectation was that um, our dad was not going to be home for Christmas. Little did I know, he actually showed up on Christmas morning and spent the morning with us. He discharged himself from the hospital. As a physician, like shouldn't have done this, but have become so incredibly thankful for that experience because it showed me both my dad and my mom put aside his physical well-being so that he could be with his children. That was one experience that consistently played out growing up as something that was so evident as far as their selfless nature. Ultimately, uh, my dad passed away when I was a sophomore in high school from complications after his treatment. That shaped a huge part of my passion for medicine. As I learned um, from his experiences and as I was able to um, kind of gain meaning and purpose behind his struggles as it affected our family, I began to find my passion for medicine within that, knowing that the same doctors and nurses that were um, helping to heal my father was something that I was passionate about and I wanted to be those kind of people. I wanted to be the doctor sitting in front of my parents, providing them with um, a treatment plan. I wanted to be um, the medical personnel providing like the absolute best care that I could um, to him and ultimately to other patients. And so my parents actually graduated from Point Loma as well. And now that I've had three years here at the university, um, I think I've come to better understand in the way that this university has shaped them. As a prospective student, I was looking at schools that I knew could provide me with the education experience, that could provide me with opportunities to continue that education into a graduate program. And I knew Point Loma had a strong uh, pre-med program. It was the same program that my dad went through ultimately to become a physician. And an expectation like for myself in college was that this was gonna be a place of growth, that it was gonna be a place of change. I had seen these like characteristics in my parents uh, like this loving and selfless attitude, this ability for them uh, to really uh, put aside their own interests for the interests um, of other people. These are attributes that I believe they developed here at Point Loma. And my expectation was that I was gonna be able to find those kind of things in myself. The first couple weeks at Point Loma were overwhelming. I found that the academic and the non-academic setting were a huge rush of new friendships, new experiences, learning new things. And I found specifically within my own life that um, I really didn't know as much as I thought I did. I began to learn a lot about this intersection of science and faith. I didn't have to separate medicine from religion and that you could find a place to intermix your uh, spiritual life and your professional life. In my Psych 101 class with Dr. Tim Hall, I found a huge importance in the relationship that I was able to develop with him as a professor. It was a class that taught psychology and we studied the brain and human interaction, but we also focused so heavily on the introspective. It was the first opportunity that I had to actually share my story. Dr. Tim Hall got to share his story with us and he encouraged us to do the same. Tim was so genuine and so loving to all of us students. Um, as I saw different perspectives and different experiences, I began to better understand my own perspectives and experiences. And not only in the classroom setting, but outside of the classroom setting, I was able to see the way that this class and a lot of different classes that I had been taking were shaping me. I began to better understand uh, my own passion for medicine and how my experiences growing up um, had shaped that. I also think my expectations for what it looked like to become a physician drastically changed in that first month of school, knowing that you needed a, a really complex understanding of life in order to build upon actually taking care of a patient. Without that course, I don't think I'd have a very good understanding for this deeply rooted passion that I have for medicine. And so I'm so thankful for that opportunity to take that course with Tim. So my freshman year was this year of ingraining myself into the community, finding people in places that felt like home, both in the classroom and outside of the classroom, discovering that the people around me were gonna be the people that would ultimately shape me. Leading into that, I embarked on a pretty rigorous academic journey in the fall semester of my sophomore year. Even those first couple weeks showed me that I was gonna need a lot more than just hard work and dedication um, during this really difficult academic period of my life. I've seen people be um, physicians to me. Along with what seemed like countless hours of class and lab, I found that the most life-giving experiences for me were found in the people around me. A really profound example of the people that surrounded me was 
Chapel has always been a place for me that has represented peace and rest. It's a space that I can come with my fellow students and my friends to step outside of the classroom setting that kind of starts up a lot of the stress and anxiety in my life. I remember taking a genetics test and I didn't feel that great about it. I kind of felt this like lingering sense of failure. And I walked into that place as we began worship. Um, I was like surrounded by like four or five of my closest friends. They didn't know I had taken the exam, but they just overwhelmed me with like love and compassion. They just provided this huge sense of peace. That's what I needed that night after feeling these fears and anxieties of failure, knowing that I really just needed people around me. It made me feel a lot more than just my grades. And I think without those people that continued to walk out life with me, providing love and support to me as a friend, I don't think I would have necessarily even passed those courses. And I think I would have kind of burned out. I don't think I would have had the same passion for science and for medicine that I do today. The journey here as a student is one that's just shaped by growth. We have the opportunity as students to learn so much and to be shaped by it. But I also believe that through this community, through the spiritual life on campus, we have the opportunity to discover meaning and purpose in our lives. We're able to better understand who we are, to unravel our past experiences and find things that we love and are passionate about and to ultimately move towards and be prepared for that next stage of life. This university, both in and outside the classroom, has allowed me to better understand my own passions for medicine and what it means to be a caregiver. I've discovered that I have the opportunity each and every day to provide hope and healing to the people around me. As a current student at Point Loma, I serve as an admissions ambassador to provide information and perspective to prospective students, to provide them with a sense of peace and comfort, um, to provide them with perspective of how this university has shaped me. I found that's a really tangible way um, for me to impact people's lives and ultimately to live out that calling right now.